Imagine all those faces from the history books, the news. Imagine for one moment you're standing in their shoes. Yeah, it was a, a fascinating uh, commission for me. They, um, they wanted a piece that summed up the triumph of the human spirit over times of conflict with a brief from World War I to the, to the present day. Imagine waking up to find that you're the only one. Parents, brothers, sisters, neighbours. Everybody. I was trying to make sure that people could put themselves in those shoes and could emphasise with the people in, in those horrendous situations. And the word imagine came to me, which helps people to do that, but also echoes you know, John Lennon's use of that word as well. And that was my, my starting point, and I went from there. Imagine being so afraid you up and leave your home. The shock and awe of shocking war a blitzkrieg in your bones. Imagine the dilemmas, the decisions you must make when all that you can carry now is more than you can take. It talks about World War I. It comes through um, allusions to World War II and the Holocaust, but it comes through right to, to the present day of, of refugees and people in dinghies on the sea. Imagine being six years old, completely on your own. All you had, your mum, your dad, you lost it all, alone. We put so much energy and effort and skill and technology and all these things, money, time, into war. Could, could we not recycle that energy into making a better world is the, is the culmination of the piece. Imagine future children, our children, looking back. Will they tell us war is over or the world's under attack? Imagine your kids, grandkids. Will they ever get to see them? Will they stroke their hair and smile, declare that war is for museums? Well, there's a particular focus today on, on the First World War within the centenary period as, as we are now. And, I, and I'm 53. As, as you get to 53, you realise that 100 years it isn't that long ago. And other people still still alive from those days, just about. And there's a quote that those who don't remember history are doomed to repeat it. And, you know, I think we're seeing some very worrying signs in, 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 in the world today. And we do remember to, we do well to remember what the descent into World War I looked like, what the descent into World War II looked like. And exhibitions like this are really important to help us do that. Imagine how we'd rebuild with defiance and with pride and with all the battered, bleeding love that still survives inside. With that spirit, human spirit, that is mightier than war. Still fighting for the answer. So what are we fighting for? We are an amazing species, we are an amazing animal, we're amazingly resilient. If we're alive today, we're the product of you know, thousands of years of struggle. And can we not evolve in the 21st century to take that energy, take that talent, take that technology, take that spirit as a force for good, rather than still falling out between ourselves? We're a very small dot in the, in the solar system, in the universe. Can we, can we not channel our talents to the good of mankind and the planet rather than against each other?